Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are continuing Pennywise's run through the Return to the Forgotten Age campaign, and this time we are playing Heart of the Elders Part 1. Uh, as a disclaimer, I really like uh, dislike this scenario uh, in the original version. Luckily, they added some new things into this uh, in the Return to version, so that we don't have to replay it over and over again. So. Uh, we'll see to that more when we get to the resolution part of the scenario. Let's uh, look at Benny's deck first. So we only had two experience to use in this uh, step. So uh, I opted to upgrade the other lantern also to level 2. And because I was finding that the liquid courages were not doing that much. I rarely played them or uh, when I played them I didn't use them because I didn't have the time and then it wasn't uh, near uh, to losing to horror damage. I opted to uh, use Adaptable to start preparing for the City of Archives and added some more skill cards in the form of two unexpected courages into the deck. Other than that the deck is uh, the same as before. There were, weren't that much experience to upgrade it with. So let's get back to the scenario. As during the introduction, uh, we uh, picked the option that we have the expedition journal in play at the start of the scenario. This is because we don't have Istaka or Alejandro in the deck, so that was the only option to choose. Uh, the exploration deck is uh, again, without any encounter cards, uh, due to the changes in the return to version of this scenario. Uh, we have a new uh, Act 1 card, which is a familiar pattern. So, uh, I'm not going that much into the fluff text of the card, but the objective again is to get uh, two clues per investigator to advance. And I have no idea what's on the other side of this card, so it will be a blind <laughs> experience for me too. Uh, we got two paths to the Nexus on the last scenario, so we have two uh, resources here. Uh, and we need six to uh, get a win from this one, but if we don't, we'll get to that later. Other than that, uh, there are some... Uh, new locations that were already in the Untamed Wild scenario, so we shuffled them, picked one at random, and I don't know how many new ones is, are in the encounter deck, but I think that's enough of the scenario and the deck, so let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Uh, we have pre shuffled the decks, so I'll draw my opening hand. So I get too many cards, sorry. <laughs> so I get the cherished keepsake, winging it. Watch this uh, double Weasley and watch this. Well, I don't think we need to watch this and uh, the cherished keepsake is not that useful. I think I'll keep the winging it to help me investigate. And the watch this and also Vida. So we draw two cards, we get a uh, red balloon and meat cleaver. So at least we have a weapon and uh, the only problem is we don't have a really good way to investigate at the start of the scenario. So hopefully we draw into some help in that uh, later. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, I think the first action will be to play down Vida. I'll use one resource to play her down. Uh, second action, I'll play down the meat cleaver just to have a weapon ready. And uh, I'll use the free action from the expedition journal to explore. So we are looking for 
uh, the dash, the Tetris symbol, and the X. So let's see. I actually can now check which are the new ones. So we have the waterfall, which is a new one. Uh, we have a tra trail of the dead, which is a new one. Uh, the time wrecked woods is an old one. Cloud forest is the new one. Uh, River canyon is the old one, and the last card was the stone altar. And we shuffle one encounter into the exploration deck and move into the stone altar. There is one clue here, and it has the Shroud of Three. And forced after you enter Stone Altar, reveal a random Chaos token from the Chaos Pack. If you reveal a, uh, any of the special symbols, uh, lose one action if you cannot take one horror instead. So, well, we have one action to lose, so it's not that big of a deal. If we don't lose the action, I think we'll just investigate. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we pull from the Chaos Pack. And as a reminder, there are only Elder Thing tokens in the back, so no cultists or tablets from the special symbols. Of course, there's the skulls and the Autofail and Elder Sign. Okay, uh, we get a minus one, so we don't lose an action. So uh, I think for the last action, I'll use the Wing It and investigate, and I'll also take one damage on Vida. So I'll boost uh, Venice Intellect to 3. So we are investigating uh, 3 versus 2. And we get the minus 3, so unfortunately we don't get the... We don't get the... Uh, Clue from here. So that is our turn. We ready up and we draw a card. It's the switchblade and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one doom to the agenda. So it has a threshold of five. Encounter card for this turn is a pit piper. So the pit piper engages us and that is the mythos phase so uh, well I'm I'm debating because I already have like uh, nine vengeance points so maybe we just don't care and start killing these vipers so I'll use the meat cleaver I'm hitting uh, four versus uh, I think I'll use the red balloon. No. And watch this. I only have one resource, so mm. okay. Let Let's evade for now. So I'll evade. I'll use the red balloon. I'm evading. Uh, five versus three. So that's the first action. It's a minus two. So we managed to evade the bit viper. Second action. Uh, I'll play winging it from the discard. I'll take one damage on Vida. And uh, the wing it will be shuffled into our deck. And we are investigating uh, 3 versus 2. And it's a plus 1, so we get that clue. And I'll use the expedition journal to uh, explore. So, we are looking for the triangle, the heart, or the two dashes. That is not it, that is not it, and that is a heart, so we get to explore there. Ok, 
Okay, uh, we get the Cloud Forest. It's a three shroud location with two clues. And force when an enemy at Cloud Forest would be dealt any damage. Uh, check your supplies if you know investigator at Cloud Forest has taught just cancel the damage so we can't damage enemies on this location uh, because we don't have any torches. Uh, last action. I think I'll draw a card. And we get sharp vision which will help us immensely next turn. So that's nice. So uh, enemy phase nothing happens. Upkeep be ready. And draw a card. We get quick thinking, that's good, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another do, encounter card is uh, snake bite, test agility 3, if you fail you must either choose one, deal 5 damage to an ally asset you control, or take one direct damage, well I think the uh, Vida Weasley will <laughs> get uh, killed if I don't succeed. I'm not using Benning's ability for this one, nor am I spending any of these cards for that. So we get a minus one, so we deal five damage to Vida Weasley. So we uh, discard Vida, and that is that. That was the mythos space, so uh, we go to the Investigation phase, first action. I will sharp vision and investigate here. I'll also commit the quick thinking to the test. Uh, I am investigating and I'll take one damage. So I have a base skill of uh, three plus uh, three from the sharp vision and one from the quick thinking. So seven versus three. It's a zero, so we succeed by uh, two or more. We get two clues from this location. Nice, and then uh, we have to immediately advance. So I'll spend the clues and let's see what this uh, familiar pattern holds. So. Well, we get the Winged Serpent, Monster Serpent Elite, 4 Bite, Dash, Damage, uh, Dash Health, and uh, 4 Agility, or Evade. Uh, spawn mod of Knuan, uh, Hunter Massive, cannot be defeated, cannot make attacks of opportunity forced if there is 5 or more damage on this enemy or after a pillar token is placed on the mouth of Knuan, heal all damage from that this enemy and exhaust it. It does not ready during the upkeep phase this round. So spawns there. Second action. Oh yeah, let's see what we need to do. So uh, investigators at the mouth of Knuan spend one clue per investigator as group. You solve one piece of the puzzle, add one resource of the, uh, to the mount of Knuan as pillar token. Solve the puzzle, so the objective is solve the puzzle of the six pillars in order to enter Knuan. If there are six pillar tokens on the mount of Knuan, advance to act 2b. And we already have two, so we need four clues in total to uh, advance. And Just, I think we're spreading the map over here, so I'm just shuffling these this way. Uh, yeah, so I will investigate. No, I will uh, explore. So we are looking for the X, the uh, diamond, the moon, or the Tetris piece, whatever it, that's called, the T marker or something. So uh, we hit. Peril best laid plans. You must either choose one. Uh, I lose two actions. Uh, 
Uh, the other option would have been shovel the top card of the encounter deck into the exploration deck, so... I think losing two actions is okay in this situation. Okay, and yeah, that was our turn. Enemy face, uh, this hunts here. Upkeep, uh, we ready up, draw a card. We get the Relic of Ages and we gain one resource. So I think this will be a easy commit to an investigation check or something like that. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. So we are three of five Doom on the agenda. Encounter card is another bit Viper. Okay, well. Uh, we can't kill it here because the, we don't have torches, so we are again evading. Okay, uh, let's evade. I'll spend. I'll use what's this and the relic of ages. I really want to evade and get more cash in preparation for the fine print weakness. Uh, we are evading uh, 3, 6, 7 versus 3. We get a 0, so we evade. We succeed by 1 or more, so we get 2 resources from what's this. And second action, uh, let's e actually let's use the expedition journal, so let's explore. Uh, let's see what we find. Uh, we get the river canyon. So let's put it over here. It's a four shroud location with one clue. And action heal one damage from an investigator at river canyon. Check your supplies. If you have a canteen, heal two additional damage. I will just quickly check because I don't recall I, if I have a canteen. So I don't have a canteen. So uh, we can only heal one damage, but that that's actually okay because Benny wants to have a, a room to take damage for the investigation checks. So I'll do the action to heal one damage. I'll mark it that we already used that ability, so we can't do it again. Uh, then I will, for my last action, draw a card. Uh, we get the letter called. Okay, so more damage soak. That's okay. Uh, enemy face, this guy hunts here. Upkeep, this uh, snake readies. We draw a card, uh, we get winging it. Nice, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at uh, four doom of five. Encounter card is uh, creeping poison. Each investigator who is poisoned takes one damage. I am not poisoned, so it only searches. And we get the basilisk. Uh, prey nearest to the mouth of Nuon. Hunter. Uh, forced after a pillar token is placed on the mouth of Nuan, shuffle one copy of Basilix into the encounter deck. Max once per round. Yeah. Uh, it spawns on us. Okay. Well, I think. Mm, we should try to kill this uh, basilisk. So, first action, I will hit. I'm hitting a bit four versus four. I'll take the damage on Benny. So, I'm hitting six versus four. It's a skull and it's a minus three, minus, uh, minus one 
minus three in it. instead if you are in a cave location. Well, I am not, so we hit. And as we took the horror, uh, I'll deal two damage to the basilisk. Second action. Uh, we'll hit again, and this time I will commit the letter code and switchblade. Really need to want to hit this, hit this one, and I have to take the horror to deal two damage. So let's see, it's a minus three, so uh, we are hitting. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're hitting only with six versus. Let me count uh, five, six versus. So we don't hit. Okay. Uh, last action. Well, that was a bummer. Uh, last action. Uh, we'll try to hit uh, again. Okay, this, this might go south quickly. Um, and we are hitting uh, 4 versus 4, and it's a skull, it's a minus 1, so we don't hit. Okay, well, that, <laughs> that was unfortunate, and I think this is starting to go bad for Benny now. Um, enemy base. Uh, the winged serpent hunts here. It's massive and it hits one damage and one horror. And then the basilisk hits for two damage. Okay. Well, at least now uh, the mid cleaver is online, actually. Now that I think of it, I would have had plus two from the meat cleaver from the last hit, so. We actually hit the basilisk. Let me count again. Yeah, we failed by one, and we had uh, no, no. The last last hit was without any bonus, so yeah. Maybe next turn. So mm, I think that's the enemy phase. We go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get lone wolf, and we gain one resource. Okay, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have five Doom on the agenda, so let us advance. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. The lead investigator chooses one investigator with groups. Look at the investigator checks his or her supplies. If the lookout has binoculars, he or she is able to see the creature approaching and avoid. The lookout suffers no effect, so Benny has to be binocular, so we only shuffle the discard into the encounter deck. Okay. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Resentful Wilds. Uh, revelation take one horror and attach Resentful. Uh, resentful wilds to the nearest location with out a copy of resentful wilds attached. After you successfully explore at the attached location, add resentful wilds to the victory display. So we'll add it to this location, and I think we won't be <laughs> exploring from here. Uh, first action I will uh, hit the wing, uh, the basilisk. I'll take one horror. I am hitting uh, with the meat cleaver, so I'm hitting. Uh, oh yeah, I think I'll have to take the damage to guarantee the hit. Or do I? No. Yeah, I, I think I have to. Mm. Uh, it's a minus three, so. Uh, we are hitting five, six, seven uh, against four, so we hit and we will two damage. And with the mid cleaver, we'll heal one damage. So this guy goes to the victory display. And the winged serpent doesn't do attacks of opportunity, so uh, I think 
I think we will try to investigate. I'll use uh, the winging it here. Actually, let's not do that. Um, we're testing three, uh, two versus three, so I, I think we are not getting this clue. So, uh, second action, we'll just move here. This uh, pit viper engages us. Uh, we can't kill it, so we're evade. So I'll use the. Uh, lone wolf for the test, so I'm testing 4 versus 3. And it's elder thing minus 3. If you fail, take one horror. Oh dear, uh, I think we're dead. Yeah. So, uh, last action. I think we'll. Uh, yeah, that was our last action. So, yeah. This guy hunts here. And I will opt to resolve this first, so I'll take one damage and one horror. And we are defeated by horror. Whop, whop. We drop our clue there, so we don't get the victory point. Uh, this guy doesn't have a chance to hit, so... Well, uh, that was a short game, but uh, yeah. I'm just happy that it's over. I really dislike this scenario. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, check the resolution. And uh, because we are playing the return to version, while resolving the no resolution was reached resolution for the scenario, instead of replaying scenario 5a, Heart of the Elders Part 1. The investigators may choose to proceed to the following resolution. I will proceed to the resolution 2. So you have trespassed in the hostile uh, land. Place pillar tokens on the mouth of Knuan until there are exactly six pillar tokens. Then, for every pillar token added in this way, record two tally marks under X Fury in your camp log. So we have to add four and we get eight tally marks. So we have 17 now. <laughs> so <laughs> we're completely in the dumpster with the ventures plus we get this basilisk with two so we are at 19 uh, vengeance or, or tally marks on the expiry as you pass by the pillars intense pain branches its way through your body and you are afflicted with the terrible curse each investigator who is poisoned takes one mental trauma each investigator who is not poisoned adds the set aside poison weakness into the their deck so we also get poisoned well isn't that nice then uh, we will not get well we uh, record one experience from this scenario yeah at least one and uh, we can't spend it before we play the heart of the elders part two but that it was the heart of the elders part one Lucky that is over, and next time we will uh, continue with the same deck to Heart of the Elders Part 2. So, thanks for watching, and until next time.